next day, which means you have to spend a night in Penticton. And all these things, it's just one of the, that people don't think about until it starts happening. At least, that's what we hear. So, now we are approaching into uh, Karameas. Gasoline here is $1.30.9, only a penny more than in uh, uh, Kelowna, so that's not bad at all. That's staying quite reasonable. Yeah, they've got a lot of corn growing here, and apples, and tomatoes, peppers, all sorts of uh, produce. The pumpkins have been harvested. Holy smokes, is that ever a big fruit stand? Man, they got watermelons, everything in there. I don't care. 
Local cherries, 20 pounds. This is Karameas, or is a municipal pool, I think. Yes, it is. Beside the power plant. Senior center. A lot of seniors everywhere we go. And I've never been. It's never a point about it being bad. It's just that uh, it's, it's a situation that we have to be aware of. Here's the RCMP station. They're moving on. New homes, $279,000. That's still way too much. I mean, jeez. You know, this is, this is nowhere land, nowhere BC. And $279,000. bucks. i mean, give me a break. I think in some ways what's happened in the United States was one of the best things that could happen is the prices go back to reality. And uh, we need some of that happening here. You're going down to Grand Forks, British Columbia, and you're seeing houses for 400,000 bucks, and you think, like, what the hell are they thinking? Who's going to be affording that? I'm not going to go in today because it's getting late, it's 5 o'clock, yeah I can see, not really, but Small size of it, it's compact and not just go along, but coming by a lake. 